be lures only. All right. You see where I had to come to catch a keeper? On the slab with a glow ball. <laughs> so, let's see. Oh yeah, 16 inches. It's freezing cold, it's the high tide. All I've caught was this big up and around the marsh grass. So I said, screw it, I'm going to the bridge. Secret hole 3002. Another slab bite and it's a dinker. A dinker, but a keeper in Louisiana. You know, I got my buddy Tony over there in Louisiana that I always watch his TV show. And he doesn't even realize what it's like over here. He did come here, but he went down to Cosmo, Florida, you know, Touristo, Florida. He caught this giant trout. Louisiana, that's a keeper. Let's say 12 inches. That's actually what they would refer to as a super keeper. That's 13 and a half inches. So, not in Florida. Slab's doing it. This is a neat little slab here that used to have like eyes. And you know, I just keep jazzing them up and playing with them. I mean, I got, you know, time to play so these used to have eyes right there and I put glow paint in then I put a little glow ball on the, on the hook right there and this one I caught with a piece of little fish bites on it and it's just Dave's version of a really simple jig that casts a country mile that's all this is. It's just a jig. That's a 5 8 ounce little slab spoon. So, it's just my version of a jig. You flutter it up off the bottom. It flutters up and then it flutters like that down. It casts far and it sinks quick. I could take the same thing over there to where Tony's fishing and probably bust the tr trout's chops with this. No soft plastic, no nothing needed. And it snags just like, just like anything else. 